what's up people so once again we are in this amazing four bedroom detached house at the grace and once again i am with mosho hello mosho hi how are you i'm good how are you too I'm good. okay so where do you start from the living area right? okay so this is our living area very huge and spacious ideally this is how our rooms come or like the, the previous, previous one. Oh, yeah yeah that one was kind of staged. Yeah. This is the living area. You can choose to have your dining set up over here. Okay. Or at any other point of the living area. Mount your TV here. Yes, your TV. Uh, it's very obvious. Yeah. So right from the living area, you can move into um, your bedroom. Okay. The first bedroom. The first bedroom. Yeah. The first bedroom. Downstairs. Also huge and spacious. Yes. There's a fitted wardrobe. We have these cabinets for like bags and other stuff. Bags for shoes. And it comes with this big like window. To allow for natural light and fresh air into your room. So this unit does not come with um AC. Yes, you now I was telling you that we usually provide them. AC okay, so you, you have to. Of AC you want. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. Um, from there, we have the washroom. The washroom. Okay, so let's check it out. The washroom is very spacious. You have this amazing shower. You have a small space where you can keep your soap, your shampoos, and all that. Your mirror well fitted. Your sink. Let's check it out. Okay, oh, it's working. Yeah, you have your closet, your socket, your water heater, and all that. Okay, so let's move to the next place. Then we have the guest washroom. Oh, okay. As usual, the guest washroom where your guests are going to use. It wouldn't be appropriate for your guests to walk inside your bedroom to use the washroom. So the developer thought of that and built this nice washroom for you um then okay. we have our kitchen okay much spacious yep. so big and spacious you i think it would be nice to have a um, kitchen here. island here okay. yeah so you know i was telling you about the fact that we allow for homeowners to make you know specific inputs on their homes oh okay so, so yeah. when acquiring the property yes oh so okay you can choose to have an island in the middle or you can just choose to have the open main space like this and then you come with your kitchen like your fridge and then other things you know Keep okay, so I'm seeing some pipe and um, other. Was it designed for a washing machine? Yeah. Oh, okay. So you can have your washing machine here. I think. Okay. So uh, maybe it might depend on the size of your the washing, washing, washing machine. You have to do something to allow you, you know, uh, fit it. Yes, fit it inside. Uh, one thing I noticed about this kitchen is the sockets, everything, the wall tiles, the lighting system. Everything is kind of on point. Ten out of ten. You have your countertop with marble tiles enough cabinetry the ventilation enough windows i think this all leads to the story more yeah. story so right from the kitchen we're gonna go upstairs and view the remaining three bedrooms all right let's check it out so right from the living area we have the bedroom right here so this is the bedroom that we have and then we have the guest bedroom which is like the main bedroom and then we have the guest bathroom which is like the main bedroom and then we have the guest bathroom this is Metallic balustrade. The bedroom. <sighs> wow. So huge and spacious as well. Because I know everything in this room is like this house is big, like big, big, yes. big, 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 big. Uh, and one thing I noticed about this property is it has enough windows and ventilation. The windows are very big, spacious. The rooms are very spacious and all that. Yeah, just to allow you to enjoy the fresh air. It's very, it's, it's very amazing. And of course, your wardrobes as well. Oh, okay. And then we have the washroom right here. You have your washroom here, very spacious. As usual, you have your sink, your sink vanity here, 
your shower, your water closet, your mirror wall, well fitted, your tower rack and all that. Just like what you saw downstairs. So it looks exactly similar here. Yeah. Like what you saw similar or same? Same. Same, <laughs> same. same. yes. Same. I come with the same so plan. The the wardrobe. The, same, the, design, the design. The same. Of course, there's the windows for fresh air. And more lighting as well into your home or into your bedroom. Another thing I observed about this property is almost. Every part of this house is tiled with porcelain and marble tiles. Uh, big ups to the developer. I really like that part of him. And, and, and you know, that's because those uh, kind of tiles are, you know, are more fine and beautiful and durable as well. So you just want to make sure that people are getting value for money. And the best. Yeah. So right now we are inside the washroom. washroom. As well. This is the second bedroom or the third bedroom. This is the third bedroom. Third bedroom. Oh, okay. The last bedroom we'll be going to is the master, master bedroom. Master bedroom. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this Finally, we are in the master bedroom. Voila! <laughs> <laughs> so this is the primary suit. The master bedroom. Very spacious. Why is it that all master bedrooms are very spacious and big? Like, you know, very big and outrageous. Usually it's like... The person that buys the house sleeps in the master bedroom. And yes. of course, you need to enjoy the fruits of your labor. So, <laughs> so hard and buying the well, I think it's bedroom. very big. What, 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 what at all? You can enjoy the space. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so, in here, I mean, you have the TV outlet. Oh, okay. There's provisions for your AC as well. Okay. Then there's a walk in closet. One thing I love about master bedroom is the walk-in closet. Yeah, there's the walk-in closet. So you have all of these, you know, wardrobes and space. Enough space for you to hang your suits, your clothes, your shoes, and all that. Everything is so, so special. And then, of course, there's also a very, very bathroom space. Oh, okay. For you. So, you know, after you take your bath, you come out. You have this. Preferably, you have a bath, yeah. Bath tub, yeah. Yeah, a bath. Yes. So instead of having a shower, yes, shower. you choose to have a bath. bath tub. Like I was saying, those are internal changes you might want to make to your house. Yeah, we have yeah, this have um, water, water heater, water. and this small space is where you can put your toothbrush and all the other stuff. Yes, and also you can get to see yourself. Oh, I didn't talk about the mirror. Ah. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yeah, finally. Um, then there's a balcony. So in the master bedroom or in the hall bedroom, there's a double balcony. Oh, okay. So you can choose to be here or you or can here. choose to be at the side. And then, so from here you get to see view of so this area, this nice estate. This estate. Oh, okay. The children's playground right there. Oh, okay. And as you can see, the streets are well named, named and labeled. Daisy after Street, trees. Tulip Street. What's the name of this street? This street is the um, Palm Avenue. Palm Avenue. So right now we are inside Palm Avenue. Uh, this is a four-bedroom detached house at the gardens. Uh, at the greens. Okay, so uh, once again, um, what's the process or the procedure if somebody wants to acquire this property this amazing four bedroom so um, after viewing um, once you like the house you pick up a form okay let out and then we prepare you an offer letter and based on the kind of terms you want to have or the kind of financial or payment plan you're going for okay then we write it according to those terms and then you go ahead so it's either you are doing a self-financing or you are paying for your house through a bank mortgage. Okay. Whichever way, you need to put down a down payment, which is 20% um, of the total price of your property oh, okay. or That's more. Nice. And then you spread the remaining balance over a period of three years. That's wow. if you are self-financing. And then the remaining balance can also be spread. So what if you are not self-financing? 
you cannot sell financing, then you are buying through a bank mortgage. Yes. So then again, you still need to put down. I'm talking about um, the number of years you are going to spread. So if it's the bank, yes, the bank will do up to twenty years for you, depending oh, okay. on your age, your salary, where you work, and all of those. Like there are so many factors the bank takes into consideration before they come in to finance your mortgage for you. Okay. So my people, this is um, where we draw the curtains if you want to make any inquiries for all viewings if you want to purchase this property i'm going to leave the number in the description below contact them thank you for watching make sure to subscribe to this video thank you just want to come on because subscribe myself god So as part of the house, we have the detachment quarters also. Oh, okay. So if you have somebody living with you, the person can stay there. I presume this is the... Yes, mm. it's also empty. Oh, okay. It comes with a, a toilet and bathroom and then a bed space also. Okay. Yeah. And this big space is a car parking the space. Car parking space yes. How many cars roughly can I park? Oh, you can, it depends on the size of your cars. But roughly you can, can have two, two or three cars, three cars parked in here. Yes. Okay, so quickly let's check out the. So this is it. So this is the boys' quarters or maids' quarters. Yes. yes. So you have the bed space and then a small cute bathroom also where the person can use. Oh, okay.